Hey there, welcome to the demo of the new Color Shifter Editor Extension Tool from Infinity PBR. This is included with our low poly character packs and makes it very easy to change the colors of these around. So let me just go ahead and show what it looks like right now. I'm going to go into Windows, Infinity PBR, Color Shifter to bring up this Color Shifter window. You have options here to show help boxes if you want to show all the help boxes and to show full data um, if you want to go a little deeper and see the full data in this as well. For now, I'll keep the help boxes expanded in case you want to glance at them while watching the video. And let me show you what this can do. This is a fully set up color shifter for this mushroom monster. All I have to do now is change these, select a new one, and all the colors are changed over. Just like that. Uh, this is also something you can uh, manage at runtime with the color shifter object here in the inspector. Just any game object with the color shifter runtime script onto it. Bring this scriptable object over here, and now you can call uh, this script and dot, you know, color set in the string based on the name or the uh, ID, or you can even randomize it um, with set random color. Uh, and, uh, and then you can control this via uh, code. Now it does affect the material, so if you want multiple um, uh, 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 characters with different color sets, and you will need multiple materials, but this is a great way to easily create um, some randomization at runtime for single characters. And also, if you want to get clever with it, you could also code this and adjust these values on the fly as well. Because what this is actually doing is affecting the um, shader itself. And so let me just bring up the shader so you can see uh, all the options on the shader. All these values down here are what the script is actually um, managing for you making it a lot easier to to manage that so let's go ahead and start set one up from scratch so you can kind of see how that process works um, for now I'm going to just choose none here all right so when you're first coming into it you gotta load up the screen again by going to infinity PBR in the window menu and then color shifter you'll see this blank screen you need a color shifter object now the the help information here will show you how to do that so I'm going to create a new one right here. We're going to create, um, actually I'm going to create a new folder here just for the demo purposes. And then we're going to create Infinity PBR Color Shifter Object. We're going to call this Demo Object. We can ignore this reference there. Now I'm going to bring this object over here, but now we still need a material to work with. So I'm going to create a new material as well. Demo Material. I'm going to bring that material in here. There's still going to be a problem because the material needs to have one of the shaders that are appropriate, the Infinity PBR LP Color, URP, or HDRP version. So in the inspector, it's going to go into the shader and select your Infinity PBR and LP Color. Now that's going to be pre-set up. You can see all that. I wouldn't manage it here if I were you. Go back to the color shifter and now you can see um, everything's ready to go there. We do need to set uh, the export path. So I'm going to choose my um, demo project there. So I'm just going to go here, Infinity PBR, Demo, uh, Mushroom Monster, Demo Purposes. I'm going to just choose that. All right. Um, now, if you notice down here, we have the default color values. When you have a color ID map, um, you can set whatever color you want. In fact, if you expand this, you can choose what the color is here on the left column of each of these. Uh, the defaults are listed here, so if you want to set up your color ID with the default so you don't have to choose uh, different colors and reset those, then use this list right here. There's 30 colors right now in this, in this uh, available to you. Um, so uh, I'm going to actually copy my color ID over here into the demo purposes so you can see that. Uh, if your uh, material doesn't yet have your color ID, then just populate your color ID there and then um, the rest will work. You can see the colors matching already right there. And with that set up, now we should be able to start seeing changes if we just, uh, oh, well, we should probably add it to our character. There we go. Now we'll see changes if we just start adjusting this color here. There's two ways to adjust color. One is to change the sliders. The other is just use the color picker. So you can use the color picker to choose, say, a color that you have preset or or whatnot. Um, so while I'm doing this, I'm also going to start creating the names of this. So I'm going to 
name these appropriately. You could name them, um, you can sort by name in the end, so you might want to name them in a, in a way that uh, will allow them to sort in logical groups, especially if you have a lot more than, uh, you know, five or six different shapes or uh, texture areas. So I'm going to call this one, um, we'll call it one body, I'll just remove the period, body uh, top, and then let's see, I'm just going to expand them all, close them as I go, see which one this is. So uh, we'll call this two body. Uh, legs top and then this one is three body legs bottom I guess I am using periods now so let me go back and use periods okay and then this one is body feet for body feet top and I know that the, we also have the body feet bottom which is down here so we're gonna call this five body feet bottom Okay, six head top or head one, we'll call it. And then this one should be the outer region. It is. So six head, head two. And seven underside one. And this is the last one. So eight underside two. All right, so I'm going to collapse all and then sort these by name. They're already kind of sorted because I just typed them in. But you could rename uh, them and, and reorder them and look at this. I got head two and there we go. And organize them as you see fit. And once you've got that, uh, it's very easy to go through and just, you know, set the textures, colors as you'd like. I'm just going to start by making all these the same. I'll start making these a little shadowed so that there's a little shadow going down the, the length of the body. And we'll do the underside too as well. If you turn the light off you can see it in a more in a different look. And then for the top we'll just make it the classic red mushroom um, we'll start with that as well. Maybe bring that down a little bit so it's a little darker. And then uh, the only thing we're missing, actually, I didn't do this one, was the bumps. Where are the bumps? So the bumps are actually in color nine. Um, since we sorted by name, nine is now all the way down here. So I forgot to name this one, so we'll call this one 10 bumps. Actually, I'm gonna call this uh, seven head bumps because I want this organized uh, appropriately. So I'm gonna close off my full details and set this to be white. There we go. And now we've got a ready to go look. Now it's, uh, easy enough to use this script to set these um, and not worry about it, just sets it through the material. Um, but if you want to use um, just a regular standard shader material, your own uh, material, and you need a texture for this, you can click this export as PNG button and it'll export the texture right there based on whatever name you've given it right here. 
Um, so we can set, call this demo texture one and then export that again and we'll have a renamed version. It won't delete the original though. We can also create a new color set which will just create a blank one with no names and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one because it's easier just to copy the color set and we'll call this um, oops, demo texture two. And then if you want you can change the color here, shift that around, shift that around and now you've got a blue one. You can do a lot there. Make the head bumps a different color as well. So you can do a lot there and of course when you're ready um, export that as a PNG and you've got a new export there or just shift between the two. So it's very easy to very quickly create a whole lot of different color combinations once you set this up. So all of my low poly characters, uh, this and the mimics are the first ones to get this treatment. I'm going to be updating all the existing ones with this as we go forward as well. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Join us on the Discord. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so I can uh, boost my YouTube followers. Thanks. Bye-bye.